What is going on everybody and welcome back to some more of Destiny 2's um, I was about to say Lightfall, that was last year's Final Shape DLC uh, Yeah, we had some connection issues but after a little bit uh, they have finally now uh, been fixed so we're going to be moving on to the next mission in this Coming video It was hard for everyone I thought it would feel right having the Vanguard back together but Tarj told me that Zavala had forgiven himself for what happened to his family but the witness made him relive losing them. And it showed him what it would be like to have them back. It must have taken everything in the commander to refuse that offer. Mykora has concerns about his mental state. She's going to check in with him while the rest of us push closer to the witness's monolith. Time to do some trailblazing, Guardian. Yeah. Yeah, the guy that, uh, vo uh, obviously, um, Lance Red Reddick is the guy that voice acted Zavala previously. Fortunately, he passed away last year in 2023. Um, and the guy that voice acts him now is, uh, what was his name? It was, uh, Keith David, that's, uh, he's the guy who did the Arbiter and, uh, Sergeant Foley, Arbiter from Halo, Halo. Mm -hmm. And Sergeant Foley's another character he did. So not a bad person to take the reins, I guess, you know. Um, for Zavala, but still, though, it doesn't hey, really hey, sound the same. There? Look, you can ignore me if you want. I would. But you should know, I'll hold it against you. Oh, come on, Zavala's supposed to be the strong silent one. You're supposed to be, I don't know, I haven't figured you out yet, now that I think about it. Sure, she was a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day, but she was also the biggest pain in the ass I'd ever met. A gremlin of a kid, she tore the engine out of my sparrow when she was 12. I was furious. Almost got her booted out of the tower until I noticed she disconnected everything. She'd been stealing tools, manuals, whatever she could get her hands on. She practiced on scrap jump ships and junk sparrows. Guess that says something about my ride. Why, she was brilliant. I told Zavala, got her a job in the hangar, and I watched her grow up. I'm sorry. No, don't apologize. Tell me, just listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Amanda lived a damn good life exactly the way she wanted to. She went out being a hero. We don't all get to do that. Some of us make stupid choices and die stupid deaths. Will you at least let me be sorry about that? Shut up. Life ain't about drawing out the living part. It's about making what you do while you're alive matter. So grow a spine and make her proud. That's fair enough. Did, wait, did Amanda die at the beginning of Lightfall now that I think about it? I can't remember. Ooh, a sniper rifle. Keep that if I gotta get rid of something. Let's get rid of this. Okay. Zavala was right after the great disaster. Didn't know the light could go out of an Awoken's eyes till then. But this... This is something else. He's scared. I've never seen him scared before, not like this. I understand the fear, I feel it too, but I... I don't know what he'll do with it. 
Horus once told me fear is a knife. We can use it to hurt others or ourselves, but we also have the choice to sheathe it. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe when we get over this mountain, we can make sure no one gets all stabby with their feelings. Got some taken popping up on my route. Y'all okay? Nothing I can't handle. If you need me to come over and give you a hand, let me know. Hey, now, who put who on their back when we threw down? <laughs> oh, come on. You caught me by surprise. Oh, well, I guess we're even then. Yeah, I remember Crow is actually older and Sol, by the way. He's the same guy. It's just that he was... It's almost like he was never gone. Like the Traveler knew it needed to make the fire team whole again. Uh, yeah, no, don't get me wrong. It's real nice to see you all again, but... Traveler could have asked before yanking a guy back to life. Kate, I need to tell you something before we go any further. Meet me up ahead. Oh, ominous and cryptic. My favorites. Yes, let's. Yeah, he was kind of like, he was out of his mind though when we were fighting him in Forsaken. In that. He was it was because his sister was the queen awoken his twin sister here on an Ahamkara. On an Ahamkara? The dragon that twists wishes and dreams into waking nightmares? What the hell made you think that was a good idea? We were out of options. I remember thinking that I wanted to do this because I had to make things right. And just before I took the plunge, I remember thinking about the Great Kate Six. No light, no ghost. Fearlessly staring up at me from the wrong side of his own gun. And there you were. And there I was. I should have told you sooner. No, no, you did the right thing keeping this between us. Ikora and Zobala can't know the truth. Not right now. They need faith. Right. And I need a drink. You go on, Guardian, you'll catch up. Yeah, Crow is older and solved. He's just just com he had completely lost his mind. That was all, which is why he was like that. Oh god, here come the Vex.
Oh, okay, I just got killed by a random vex. Tried to hold that in for a few more seconds. I'm just gonna take off my headset. Hey, listen, it's the summer. I get hay fever in the summer. I fucking hate it. Charge! Oh, I should have added that to my auto rifle, or even the meter mini tool. Vex are always my fate. Uh, yeah, yeah, they were my favourite enemy type. Hello.
first things my ghost Sundance said to me was that I was capable of greatness. You remind me of her a little. In what way? You're both a pain in my ass. Surely we gotta be near the end of the mission. Let me go, let me go, let me go.
Dagon and Vex are in retreat. Good work. I'm picking up a massive new energy signature. Ghost, do you feel that? I do. The Vex mind must have been obscuring it. It's this way. Okay, I'll end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.